Over 30 years after being convicted of killing their parents, Lyle and Eric Menendez might finally get a chance at freedom. Los Angeles District Attorney George Gascon recommended that a judge resentence them, potentially opening the door for parole. This recommendation came after the Menendez brothers' lawyers claimed in 2023 to have new evidence. Defense attorneys filed a habeas corpus petition, presenting new evidence, including a statement from former Menudo band member Roy Rossolo, who alleged Jose Menendez sexually assaulted him in the 1980s. Additionally, a letter Eric wrote to a cousin months before the murders alluded to the abuse he endured. Gascon acknowledged that the murders were brutal, but highlighted the brothers' impressive behavior in prison. He described them as model prisoners who have worked hard to better themselves and help those around them. If a judge approves, the Menendez brothers' sentence could be reduced to life with the possibility of parole, making them eligible for parole under California law due to their ages of 21 and 18 at the time of the crime. The Menendez brothers were convicted of first-degree murder in 1996 for the 1989 killings of their parents, Jose and Kitty Menendez, in their Beverly Hills mansion. They admitted to the shootings but argued it was self-defense after years of physical and sexual abuse by their father. Their first trial ended in a mistrial, but in the second trial, much of the evidence of abuse was excluded, leading to their life sentences without parole. Interest in the Menendez case has resurfaced partly due to Netflix's docuseries Monsters, the Lyle and Eric Menendez story, which covers the brothers' claims of abuse. Gascon reviewed accounts from family members who confirmed the home environment was abusive. He also factored in the brothers' model behavior in prison, including leading victim support programs and helping reduce tensions. Lyle's leadership even led to a discipline dorm being closed due to his positive influence on inmates and staff. According to the motion, the brothers are now deeply remorseful and have done a tremendous amount of self-work, focusing their time on trauma rehabilitation and helping others, especially inmates with disabilities.